Okay, so I've been having like a lot on my mind lately, and I've actually been kind of been crying because I've kind of been in my feelings, thinking about some stuff. So, of course, everyone knows I'm gay. Um, that's obvious as fuck, but I want everyone to know that my lifestyle. It's something that I chose. I chose to live my lifestyle. I chose to like guys. I chose to be... Well, maybe I didn't choose to like them. Because I think they're attractive regardless. I mean, I have chosen to be attracted. But I chose to pursue the, um, the lifestyle. Um, um, not knocking anyone else who were born gay. Or, you know, but I wasn't. Someone else may have, but I wasn't. I chose my lifestyle. Um... And so, around the time that I decided to, you know, pursue this lifestyle or whatever you want to call it, I was really young. Um, and with me being so young and coming out to my parents, there were so many different things that I had to abide by. There are rules, there are repercussions. There are consequences for doing certain things. You know, it was it was it wasn't that good for me. I didn't really enjoy that time of my life. Um, my mom actually found out. Well, all this in my um coming out story, but when my mom found out, it was like she broke my phone. I was disconnected from the world. The only thing I was allowed to do was eat, breathe, sleep, and go to school. So, yeah, but um. My family, with me coming out and me being gay and all that stuff, everybody didn't take it very lightly. Like, they they didn't like it. I mean, I can understand why, because my family is very religious. And looking at their religious background and their um, their personal beliefs, um, I can understand why, because I'm totally against their religion. And I can see why they fear for me as far as going to hell and... All these diseases and things that are out there. So I kind of understand. But at the same time, I was looking for my support system. And with my support system, um, I was looking to be loved regardless. Like, I knew they loved me. But the way my mom was thinking at the time, it wasn't that they loved me. It was like they wanted to get rid of me. And it was like they didn't want me there. They didn't care. It was like... They just wanted me to be gone. And you know, a lot of things changed. Um, I built up so much emotions. I wanted to talk. I wanted them to embrace my lifestyle. I wanted them to understand where I was coming from, but it didn't happen. My mom um, criticized everything I did. You know, if I sat a certain way, if I said something funny, if I was talking to someone who was a little more flamboyant, you know, it was like constant criticism. And, you know, I lived with my dad, my granddad, and living with him, you know, he constantly said, when you gonna get a woman, or you need to go get some pussy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I hate that word. I couldn't believe I just, I can't believe I just said that. <clears throat> but, you know, and they never took into consideration how all that stuff may have made me feel. And it offended me. It really did. And, um, and even though I was offended, you know, I did what they wanted me to do. Um, to a certain extent, I um, I didn't bring any of my lifestyle around them. The most I did was talk on the phone around them. But that was like, I had to be in a totally separate room. Like, I would be in the same house, but I wouldn't be in the same room with them because I didn't want them to get upset or to be offended about what I was doing. You know, I kept my friends away. You know, anything I did, I made it separate. You know, I didn't bring it around them. I didn't mention it. You know, I kept it to myself. Um, I even went as far as lying. Like, I was, if I was hanging out with my gay friends or my boyfriend, I would lie and be like, I'm going to my best friend's house. My best friend was Alana. And I would be like, oh, I'm going to Alana's house. Well, damn well, I was going to hang out with gay people. I don't know what the problem was, but I had to lie to them. I couldn't really tell them the truth. So, and living, having to live like that for so long... I built up a lot of resentment towards my family 
and they don't know this. They don't. This is the first time I've said something about it. But the resentment, this resentment that I have towards my family is so painful. And I hate it. I hate thinking about it. I don't like it. But it's just something that I have. And it's like, it hurts to have to have this resentment towards these people that you love so much. But either way, um, yeah, so whew, with this resentment being there, um, and the way that I was brought up as far as after me coming out, there were so many things that I wanted to do. There are so many things that I'm good at and I wanted to pursue, but I didn't because of, of what my family would think of me. Like, I am a dancer. Like, I can dance my ass off. I can do any type of dance. All you have to do is teach me, and I got it, and it's gone. It's new. It got it. It's wonderful. I'm a, I'm a dancer. I have it. It's like it comes naturally to me, but I didn't pursue it because of what I thought my family would think of me. I didn't pursue a lot of different things because of what I thought my family would think of me. And that has also caused me to build up a lot of different resentment and my fear of losing them or my fear of not being able to have a home to go to because they didn't accept my lifestyle. So I built up a lot of emotions that I didn't say, that I didn't talk about, and it was all overwhelming. And this is my first time talking about it. But, like everyone knows, I'm moving to New York. And I have dreams, you know, but that's not the reason why I'm moving to New York. And it honestly, it hurts me to say, but I'm moving to New York because I'm getting the fuck away from my family. I can't do I love them to death, and they have done nothing but love me and care for me. But the reason why I say this is because I can't let anyone hold me back anymore. I can't continue to be held back. I can't continue to be criticized and ridiculed. Because of the lifestyle I choose to live, you know, and just because, just because of me not being, just because of this fear that I have, you know, it's the reason why I'm moving. I passed up something that I loved, which is dance. I passed it up. I could have been a bomb dancer. No telling where it could have took me. No telling where I could have been. And what I could have seen because of me dancing, like, and I'm really good. I kid you not, I am really good. And I feel like I'm being a little modest. Was just saying I'm being really good, but I'm not. I'm, I'm a really good dancer. And um, just that one thing, I can't continue to let it happen. No telling what happened now. Yeah, I was young. I was a teenager, and I wanted to be a dancer. And, you know, at that moment, that's what my life was about. But now I'm older, I'm grown, and I have bigger dreams than just dance. And I don't want them to get held back because of what they think. So I'm moving. I have to get away from them. And with me making my own decisions and with me living my own life, I feel like <clears throat> I'll become what I want to be. And once I do, it'll be like no other thing ever in America, in the world, in anywhere, because I will blow up like a nuclear bomb, and when I blow up, I'm going to destroy every bit of emotion and resentment that I have towards them, and it's all going to be good again, it's all going to be good again, once I've done something, despite of what they feel, and how they feel, I'll feel so much better about myself, and I just can't wait for it to happen, I love them dearly. I really do. But it's time for me to build my own life and to become the person that I want to be. Life is a script and I'm the writer. And it's time for me to take my life into my own hands. I'm invisible. That's I feel like I'm invisible to them. And I can't be anymore. I'm invisible for the last time. I'm not invisible. No, I'm not. And I will not be anymore. I can't. So it's my time to shine. No more feeling insufficient. I gotta make my own decisions. Yes, I just stole Jennifer Hudson's lyrics, but that's how I feel. I'm invisible for the last time, people. Live, laugh, love. Peace and love. I'm out.